In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about two things, backup and disaster recovery. Now, as a business owner, you need to know what these two things are. You need to know how important they are to your business, but more crucially, you need to know the difference between them. Before we start, don't forget to like this video. And if you've got any comments about backup or disaster recovery, use the comment box below. So let's talk about backup. In the simplest form, backup is just taking a copy of your data and putting it somewhere else in case you need it. Now you might need that backup for a whole host of reasons. Maybe you've deleted some Word documents and you need to get them back. Or maybe the computer you're using is broken, so you need the backup to restore to a new computer. Or perhaps you've been the victim of a cyber attack. Something like ransomware has encrypted your PC, so you need a good backup. Now when we talk about backup in a business context, the stakes are obviously much higher. You might have all your files and folders on a server, or you might use an application to run your business, which is also installed on a server. If you didn't have a good backup for these things when you needed one the most, then your business could be in serious trouble. It's estimated that a business that suffers a major data loss would go out of business in the following 12 months. Backups are really important. So let's delve deeper into your business and find out exactly what needs to be backed up. Well, the first thing are servers. Servers are a central place to hold files, folders, applications, sometimes even email. These servers can sit in your office or they might even sit in the cloud. Wherever these servers are located, they need to be backed up at least once every day, just in case you need to restore them. What about PCs and laptops? Do they need to be backed up? Well, ideally, your IT should be configured so everything is not stored on individual computers. Although people are working on those computers, the data is stored on servers or perhaps even in the cloud. Take, for example, Microsoft 365. You could be working on your laptop using Outlook, but that data is actually stored in the Microsoft cloud. So if anything happened to your laptop, the data would still be stored in the cloud. But occasionally, PCs do hold data. We have one customer who uses computers to control large bits of industrial machinery. If that computer stops working for any reason, then the machinery stops working as well, and that company can lose money. Maybe you're watching this video and thinking, well, we don't have any servers in our office, we don't have any servers in the cloud, we just use a cloud program like Microsoft 365. We don't need to worry about backup anymore. Well, people are always quite surprised when I tell them this, but if you use Microsoft 365, you need to back that up. Yes, Microsoft are looking after you, and yes, Microsoft back up your data, but there are some scenarios that Microsoft won't protect you from. Microsoft themselves recommend that every business who use their platform need to have a third-party backup. So if you're not using a third-party program to back up your Microsoft 365 today, then you need to put that on your priority list. So we've talked about backup. What exactly is disaster recovery? Well, disaster recovery is also known as business continuity. So to understand the difference between backup and disaster recovery, let's look at an example. Well, let's presume that you've got a server in your office. On that server, you've got a shared drive. It holds all your files and folders. As well as that, on that server, there's an application and everybody uses that application all day long to run your business. One Monday morning, you come into the office and you quickly find out that you've become the victim of a ransomware attack. Someone has got onto that server and encrypted everything. You can't access your files and folders. You can't access the application that you need to run your business. All your staff are in the office, sat around drinking tea, and you're losing money because nobody can do the jobs. But you tell yourself that everything is gonna be okay because you've got a backup from the previous evening. So surely all we need to do is restore that backup and everything will be okay. The problem is that backup is huge. It's got all your files and folders. It's got your applications. That restore isn't gonna take five minutes or an hour. It could take many hours. It could take a few days. And all that time that restoration is happening, your business cannot work. Well, that is where your disaster recovery plan or your business continuity plan will kick in. With disaster recovery, you will have an up-to-date live system, in this case, a duplicate of your server standing by 
ready to jump into action. So when your business gets ransomware, we can just switch on the duplicate version of the server before the ransomware happened and everybody can continue working until the main server is fixed. So the key difference between backup and disaster recovery is the time it takes for your business to get back to working normally. And we know in business, time is money. So as a business, you've got to look at every aspect of your technology. Where are your files and folders? Where are your emails? What about your applications? What about your telephone system? Where are these stored? Is there a backup in place for these things? Is a backup sufficient? What happens if one of these things becomes unavailable and you need to restore? How long will that take? Can your business manage without that technology for a prolonged period of time? If not, then you need to look at a business continuity plan as opposed to just a backup. So the key question you need to ask yourself is how long can your business survive without a working IT system? I hope you found this video helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe. We publish videos every Tuesday and every Friday.